Hey, Katie Kimball from Kitchen Stewardship here. Um, do you want to know what I actually think about homeopathy? I'm so out to lunch. I have no idea. I'm on the fence. I know a lot of people who swear by it, who have seen amazing results, transformative stuff is happening in their health and their bodies. I've just never seen it. I've never seen it in my own family, but it's so inexpensive and kind of easy to do that I keep trying and I keep it with me. So. Who knows? I have seen maybe, maybe some like minorly transformative stuff with croup, but I don't really know. But let me show you what I cart along with me, along with on my computer always the PDF of Homeopathy for Mommies, which has been, I think, the best resource. Um, I just, if something goes wrong in the family or I'm trying to fix something with homeopathy, I do a little control F, you know, command F on a Mac, and I start searching for that issue and reading what might be the best thing. And then you spend what, like eight to $12? and a little homeopathic remedy and you try it. There's like no side effects. So I'm cool with it. I think it's really amazing. I think I have so much to learn about it. But if you wanna like totally be a rookie like me, here are some of the things that we have with us and that I do rely on from time to time. I'm gonna turn this camera around so close your eyes if you get dizzy, ready? Here we go. All right, this is like the whole big picture and they're sort of categorized here so this one is supposed to be good for growing pains my kids all the time are waking up in the middle of the night with growing pains so we have the homeopathic remedy we have the essential oils we have like the hot pad with us um, and we just do it all not usually at once because sometimes homeopathics and essential oils aren't compatible they like cancel each other out but we like try them one at a time and then if they keep waking up we try a different one um, i have used this one already because a couple of my kids have had tummy aches and nausea um, because this one is for nausea, flu symptoms. Um, we originally bought this because it was a recommendation from a holistic pediatrician when my three-year-old had a concussion and he was vomiting. So he took this for a week and I've kept it, you know, around ever since. Here's, um, well, and then this one, what is it called? Causticum. Originally bought that as a bedwetting remedy and we could link to that post because it may have made a difference don't know. I also bought belladonna at that time and I lost it. I can't find it. But belladonna is a really good one to have around too. It has a lot of um, uses. But this one also says for horse cough. So if people have a horse cough, I give them that. This is kind of the first aid area. Um, I've gone through so many vials of Arnica. So if you want to dabble in homeopathy, start with on Arnica, Arnica Montana. Um, 30C is a good, I guess, strength to use dilution I think it's called I'm not see I'm not even sure I'm totally not a homeopathic expert um, but arnica is like the first remedy for so many things um, it, there was this old company that's out of business now called natra kits and that's what those other little brown bottles are from and but I still you refer to their sheet of like what you use for what so it's like bee stings bruises you know twisted ankles puncture wounds all this stuff that happens to the kids all the time. And Arnica has so many remedies. First remedy for any physical trauma, pain, inflammation, bleeding, bruising, soreness by injuries, accidents, sprains, strains, muscle overexertion, and shock. And headaches, I might add. Um, and also some other stuff. So, like, we've seriously gone through probably five or six vials of Arnica and we're not even homeopathic type people. So, that's the first one you would buy if you're interested in trying homeopathics. Um, the others from that Natra kit are... Cantharis, Letum, and Hypericum. The only one I've really used a lot is Letum because that's for like bites and black eye. Um, so we've had a couple of those opportunities. My kids have allergies. So Allium Sepa is a good one for especially like hay fever. It's made from onions. And so uh, the idea with homeopathy is that like cures like. And so onions make your nose run and your eyes water. So if your symptoms are like runny nose and eyes watering, you could take Allium Sepa. Um, one of my kids actually has had like this crazy blinking spell for about five or six days now. And I, we had no idea what this child was like reacting to, but we did start using this kind of regularly and it's starting to go away. Was that the Allium Sepa or not? I don't know, but for like, you know, 10 bucks or whatever, it's worth having with me. Nature Muriaticum is another one that's for like allergy symptoms. Um, Kelly Iodatum, I, some of these like I buy because I had a reason to from homeopathy for mommies and then I forget what it is so then they're just around but this one is definitely for like radiation poisoning and heavy metals and stuff I might have actually bought it because I thought it was something else these guys I've used a lot um, this is a Boyron brand and it's a flu remedy as soon as I think if somebody's getting a fever or something they take this and this is a little different it's a whole little vial 
of balls and you take the whole thing, but I will not go anywhere without those. Um, even, even if they don't work, cause I really like to feel like I know what I'm doing. I like to feel like I'm helping. Um, speaking of little balls, this is what my kids call these, the little balls. And just really quickly, I want to talk about how to take them because it's confusing at first. Can you guys see there's like a, there is actually a little white ball kind of banging around inside the lid. So what happens is you turn the lid, you rotate the lid when the vial is facing down toward the lid and then another little ball comes out. Can you tell? There's two of them in there now. And then you would t pop the lid off and without touching the balls, you pour them out of the lid into the child's or your mouth under your tongue. And that's like the quickest administration of the remedy. If you touch them, the remedy is basically on the outside of a little ball of sugar. And if you touch them, apparently like too much of the remedy will come off on your fingers and then that's not helpful. Um, so that's how you take them. The vials will usually say three or four. I have read that homeopathy is basically like an on or an off. And so one is the same as three, but Americans like numbers. And we would feel weird if we just took one little ball. So on the ones that we use all the time, like Arnica, I usually do like one because I know that we're gonna run out. So again, I don't have my source on that. I don't remember where I read it, but that's what we do. Um, these are the three for a really croupy cough. Um, this is Aconitum napellus, also called Aconite, Spongia tosta, and Heifer sulf. Hep I don't know how to say these, you guys. I'm not a Latin major either. Um, but the idea is you take them in this order, and I wrote it on here so that I'd remember, and you take them like every five minutes or every 10 minutes apart. Um, they, it has made an impact potentially with kind of a creepy cough. And then all of these things I bought at some point, I don't remember why. I think that one was for eczema. I think this one was for eczema. I think this one is, what is it? Sometimes they say, they'll say like a little bit on there. Oh yes, anxiety. I'm pretty sure I got that one for anxiety. Um, and then bryonia, I don't remember that one either. Muscle and joint pains, there we go. So that would be good for my husband tonight because he did a big hike with the 14 year old and they worked really hard. He's like unable to walk. Um, but again, I the way I use these is just to look up stuff in the Homeopathy for Mommies PDF ebook. It's a fabulous, really, really thorough dense source of information for rookies. Um, again, I'm not a homeopath, I'm not a naturopath, I'm not a doctor, I don't have any letters after my name. This is just kind of me like learning to be doctor mom and trusting that there really aren't any side effects to these. I've never seen any um, and I've seen some potential improvement. I've seen a lot of like maybe nothing happened too, but because they're inexpensive I and they're tiny, like I don't feel like this is too much of a waste of space on our travels. So I do always have these with me and usually some others that I have apparently lost because they are so tiny and they, you know, they go on someone's nightstand and then they disappear. So that's what I know about homeopathy. Homeopathy, you guys, that's like the beginning, middle and end. Eight minutes, not an expert, but nonetheless, it's interesting and I love experimenting with natural remedies. So that's it. I'm Katie Kimball from Kitchen Stewardship for this Healthy Travel Thursdays video.